Hey there, so I'm gonna give you a demo of how you can build a chatbot using Zapier that can help you collect leads on your website. So your first step is going to be going to Zapier. You can do this by going to zapier.com slash app slash chatbots, or you can always navigate to the chatbots page in the left-hand navigation here. So this is gonna be your chatbots dashboard. It's gonna be where all of your chatbots live. Um, you can also create new chatbots. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, so click that button called create on the top right-hand corner. You're gonna name your chatbot and then open up the builder for it. As soon as you create your first chatbot, you're automatically gonna be entered into a 14 day trial of our advanced functionality. So you can really try out everything as you're building. So this is your chatbot's builder environment. This is where you're gonna have all of the settings you need to create your lead collection chatbot. So your first step is gonna be spending some time on this instructions tab. In this tab, you can add a directive for your chatbot and your directive is going to be where you tell the chatbot how you want it to talk to customers. You're gonna be prompting it to have a certain role, have a certain style to really match your company. So I've added a directive here that asks the chatbot to provide customer support for my business. I've given it some information about the style I want it to have, as well as other rules like redirect the conversation if anyone asks questions outside of this topic. The next step you're gonna take is by adding custom knowledge to your chatbot. This custom knowledge is used to train the chatbot on all of those frequently asked questions that it may get to make sure that it can answer accurately about your project or your business. So to do so, you're gonna go and click the add source button at the top here, and you'll see a modal open up. You have three options to add custom knowledge to your chatbot. The first is connecting public URLs. So this is like a web page or a help center that's public and has information about your business. The second option is uploading static text files. So you can upload a PDF, a CSV, wherever you have a static doc that has knowledge about your business, you can upload it. The third option is a Zapier table. So you can go and sync a Zapier table that has FAQs about your business so you can train the chatbot on that knowledge as well. For this chatbot, I'm gonna connect it to website information. So if you want it to connect it to a public URL, you'll grab that URL and then you'll go back to add it as the public URL. I also want to collect the sub pages connected to this main website page. So I'm also going to click this crawl this link for all sub pages button. When you do that, it's going to go and look for all those sub pages and give you a list here of your possible options of web pages to scrape. So I'm going to go in and select the other web pages that I want the chatbot to have knowledge about. Clicking add sources will then connect all of those to your chatbot. You can set up a sync schedule if you want these to resync every day or week or month, whatever schedule fits your needs. Next step is going to be adding some style to your chatbot. So on the style tab, you can really make the chatbot look and feel like your brand. You can add an avatar, you can add logos, and you can customize the colors of the chatbot. So I've added some avatars and logos here. You can see what those kind of look like in this preview view. And then you can also scroll down to add your brand colors um, and really give it a custom theme. So if you go to say your website and pick out some of the colors on your website, you can then go and add that as a custom color and it will generate a full theme for your chatbot. You can go in and edit any parts of that theme um, but it does a really great job of taking that brand color and making a theme that's really accessible for the chatbot and will look nice on your website. The next step I'm going to recommend is that you add in some cool logic to your chatbot. So this really customizes the chatbot and makes it easy for your leads and customers to get started with a conversation. So the two that I'm going to recommend that you add are suggested messages and link buttons. So suggested messages show um, with the text box that a user can type into. And a user can click one of those to start the conversation. And so for this, I've added in some key ones for this restaurant business, which is how do I order? What's your contact info? And so you can just add in those here. The other thing that you can add in is a link button. And so the link button is a really awesome piece of functionality that allows you to choose keywords 
that then you want the button to show up on and have that button link out to a key resource. So um, in this case, I've said I want the keyword menu to trigger a link button to show up in the conversation. And so this chatbot is going to respond and then there's going to be a view menu button here that links out to that menu, making it really easy to access. And now that you have your chatbot all set up, it's all customized for your brand, it's trained on your knowledge, we're gonna add in that lead collection, that's really key. So you're also gonna stay on that logic tab to do that, and I've already set up some collect lead information here. So when you collect lead information, you have a couple options to set it up. You can say that you want the chatbot to collect lead information at the beginning of every conversation. As soon as someone messages your chatbot, you want it to collect, say, email and name. You can also say, hey, I want this to only happen after a few messages. So, um, you know, a little bit of back and forth happens between the chatbot and your lead, and then it should prompt for an email. The third option is to have it only collect information when a certain keyword is used. And so that's what I've set this, this, this example up as. So I've said that anytime someone says catering in this chatbot, I want that to prompt the chatbot to ask for name, email, and event date. This will then automatically be stored in a Zapier table. Um, so then it's really easy for you to access that information. So what that looks like, if I go over here, I'll continue this conversation and say, do you have any catering options? The chatbot's then going to ask for name, email, and event date. You can just type those directly into the chat. So I'll say, Steph, test, the chatbot is automatically going to collect that information and then continue on in the conversation. You can see that that lead information has been collected here automatically into the table. So now that you have all of that set up for your chatbot, after you've tested it thoroughly, either here in the builder or you can go and view a live version of your chatbot in a separate page, you can go and you can embed the chatbot. And so um, you will have two options for embedding the chatbot. You can either select standard embed code, which is just in line on a web page, or you can select to add it as a pop-up, which would show in the bottom right corner, a user can click that button, it will scroll with the page overlaid over the content, and it will pop open a chat option. So all you have to do is grab this script information and drop it in your website. There's typically a format called like custom embed code, and you'll just drop it in there. So now that you've built a Zapier chatbot for your business to be able to collect leads on your website, um, you can do a couple cool things in the chatbots builder. So the first thing I'll highlight is that you can go and take a look at those conversations. So you can search through them, look through all of the conversation details and gain some insights about the types of questions that your leads and customers are asking about your business. You can also go over to analytics and you can see over time the number of conversations and messages and URLs clicked. And then you can also consider creating some additional integrations. So if you want your chatbot to engage with your leads and consumers and your customers on social media like Facebook Messenger or you know, your support tickets in Zendesk, that's possible to build through Zaps. And then the last thing you can do is you can go back into the logic tab and you can run a zap at the end of the conversation. Um, this will give you all of the conversation data as well as the collected lead information. And you can do a ton of those things, ton of things by running that information through zaps. So you could send leads to your sales team. You could, you know, add them to an email marketing tool. You could analyze the conversation with AI. You could send updates to your team and summaries in Slack. So really there is a ton that you can build with this and we're really excited to see what you build.